Hi, I'm Hannah and I work for Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust as the Do One Thing Officer. Ponds are extremely important ecosystems. They can attract a diverse range of wildlife, including invertebrates, birds, small mammals and fish. They provide habitat, shelter and food for many creatures. It's said that ponds support up to two thirds of all freshwater species in the UK. However, unfortunately, like many other habitats, ponds are under threat. In this video, we are going to show you how to make a mini wildlife pond, which shouldn't take long and won't cost you very much, but will make a positive impact on the wildlife in your garden. So, firstly, you want to grab a plastic box. This can be in the form of a washing up bowl, a toy box or a disused sink. Then you want to take some sand and gravel and spread it out over the base of the pond. This will help dragonfly and damselfly larvae as they often live in the silt at the bottom of ponds before they emerge. As you can see, there are lots of places for them to hide from predators and find shade. The third step would be to get something that will create different levels in your pond. Here, we've used old broken plant pots, but you can use anything. Logs are also a good option. Then you want to find some oxygenating plant species such as water crowfoot, spiked water milfoil or white water lily. If you're unsure on what plants to get for your pond, you can look these up online. And finally, you want to fill your pond up with water. This would ideally be with rainwater as tap water contains chemicals such as chlorine, which can be detrimental to your pond ecosystem. Thank you for doing one thing for nature today. If you want to share your creations with us, then send them to the email address below. 